Hello, I'm Kat Fletcher and I'm one of the founders of Freegal and I live down near Brighton and I also run the Brighton Freegal Group as well as sort of doing all the national publicity and social media. So, yeah, no, great question. Freegal is an online network of free reuse groups. So, um, sort of really simply, um, you know, if you have something at home or at work that you no longer want, um, instead of throwing it out in the bin or putting it in a skip or taking it to the tip, you can list it on Freegal and find someone in your local area that can make use of that item. And, um, you know, it's a really simple idea, but um, the idea is just to make it much easier for people to rehome things and to get in the habit of, of reusing stuff. Um, so also equally, as well as giving things away, you can obviously use Freegal to find things that you need. And it's kind of, it's beautiful because everything's free. It's just um, sort of um, a, a really community spirited, um, bunch of people that use Freegal who like to help out their neighbours and, and, and want to be less wasteful. It, it's brilliant to um, work in partnership with the council because councils traditionally are sort of the biggest sign posters. So if any citizen or person in your area wants to find out about how to do something, um, they will most likely go to your website for starters. So by having a partnership with the council, you know, we can make the most of that signposting, make sure that everybody knows about Freegal and how easy it is to use and join. And, and more than that, like we all do just live together and, and councils can't do everything, right? And you know, you provide all these statutory recycling and waste services, but reuse is quite sort of, um, it's a bit niche really, and it's much easier for a charity like us to organise reuse in a community and then for the council to benefit from it. So, yeah, I mean, we just love working with councils because it feels like we can get a whole lot more done and engage with more people and also just to help councils out. You know, they're all, they're incredibly burdened with them. Um, the strange times we all find ourselves in. So, yeah, it's just nice to, to, to work with councils to help communities out and to be more resilient. Super easy. Um, you can just use your tablet or PC or smartphone. Um, and on a smartphone, you can use an app that you can just download from all the usual places. And it's called Freegal, F-R-E-E-G-L-E. -E -E. um, or you just go on our website, which is ilovefreegal.org. And it's super, super easy. When you go there, um, you simply pop your postcode in and the website or the app will um, direct you to your local Freegal communities. And and really, it's just a it's a very simple app and website to use. And you just follow all the prompts. You either push a button that says give stuff or you push another button that says uh, looking for stuff, I think. But, um, yeah, it's, it, it's super easy and it's free. It's free to join. It's free to use. And everything that's listed on Freegal is free. So there's just no exchange of money at all. Gosh, um, <laughs> as, every, as a lot of people will be aware, there's an awful lot of stuff in the world and we've all become a lot more conscious, particularly the last few years, um, thanks to Blue Planet and, and lots of campaigns about plastic and whatnot, that, that we're much too wasteful. And so one of the just obvious impacts of Freegal is that it reduces the amount of stuff that would otherwise go to landfill incinerators or to stuff that even might be recycled. So there's a much lower carbon footprint 
if you reuse an object um, in preference to recycling incineration or landfill. So, yeah, we reduce waste, we save carbon, reduce carbon emissions. Um, and then, you know, apart from those kind of big environmental impacts, I think it's also really well, worth mentioning that there's lots of lovely social and community benefits. So you will just meet other really lovely people that live in your area and neighbourhood and you might find someone that you end up being friends with or that you can help out in a more meaningful way or, again, in the future. So I think it's a really nice link between kind of saving the planet and, and being a nice, decent person as well. And, and I guess, obviously, but um, it saves everybody money. And so, you know, a lot of us are living through very difficult times. And so I think that's really important benefit as well, is that um, people are able to get rid of things at, at no cost, and they're also able to receive things they do need um, all for free. <laughs> Obviously, we're all living through a pandemic and various areas of the country are in are in different tiers of lockdown. Um, so we uh, manifestly uh, ask all our members to follow the government guidelines and regulations in their local area. We put links to those at the front of our website and we've got a lovely sort of COVID safe freakling guideline. So just being really sensible, like, don't enter someone else's house if you're not allowed to enter someone else's house right now. When you're giving away things that have a hard surface, um, you, it's good to clean them, wipe them down first. Equally, when you receive something, you might as well be doubly safe and just give it a wipe down. Um, and I think just to sort of be polite and to think about what you're doing, maintain social distancing. Um, if you're giving away something really big, then maybe you need to get it outside your house for the recipient to pick it up so that they don't enter. So, I mean, there's a lot of common sense in there as well as kind of very specific things that we must do and not do. And, um, yeah, we, we do have all of that on our website to sort of remind everyone and nudge everyone to do the right thing. Um, the simple answer is you can freegle anything that's legal. So you obviously cannot give away guns or drugs or medications, even um, all forms of medication are not allowed to be reused. But otherwise, the world is your oyster, really. So people give away everything from old sheds, building materials, seeds, soil, clothing, electronics, furniture, um, sports equipment. If you're having a baby or you've got young children, it's a great way to find all the equipment you need and pass on things when your kids have grown out of it. So, yeah, there's, you know, as long as you're legal, there's literally nothing that you can't freegle. And, and people do freegle really amazing things, push bikes and yachts and big high value things, but, but also just the little things, you know, like um, a box of dishwasher tablets or you know, some canned food that is still in date that you're never going to eat. So it's just endless, really. And, I, you know, people just need to be aware that you really, really, really can freegle just about anything. And even if things are broken or they're, you know, not in the best condition, as long as you mention that when you list the item, you'll discover that there's loads of people in your local community that love fixing things up and repairing things and that you can rehome all sorts of stuff. Yeah, things that you might think are not possible is very, very possible. <laughs>